All right, really quick, because I have a feeling that on my previous video there was a confusion. Uh, and let me clarify the confusion. Guys, we're talking about virtual reality. If you want to enjoy your existing 3D Blu-ray movies and you sold your 3D TV, you don't have your 3D TV, you don't have your 3D pass-through glasses, okay, and you still would love to watch your 3D Blu-ray movies, well, there's many ways you can watch it. The easiest way, it's the PlayStation VR, because all you're going to need is PlayStation VR and PlayStation 4. So, PlayStation VR and PlayStation 4 Pro or original PlayStation 4, it doesn't matter. Those two devices and you're good to go. You just put the disc inside, it already has a uh, Blu-ray built into it, and you can watch your Blu-ray movies. 3D Blu-ray movies on your PlayStation VR. However, if you want to go to the PC, you're going to need some stuff. It's not going to be cheap. You're going to have to purchase a external Blu-ray player. Or if you already have a built-in Blu-ray player, then you're good to go. But if you don't, you're going to have to buy an external Blu-ray player. Something like this. And of course, you're going to need a Oculus Rift S VR headset or any VR headset that's compatible with Windows or Steam VR. Now, the most painful part is going to be the software. Now, there's this software called DVD Fab. Okay, it's called DVD Fab. I will leave a link down below. And what this software does. Basically, it allows you to uh, convert your existing 3D Blu-ray movies onto a SBS, meaning split screen side by side. Two du du duplicate uh, videos running at the same time called SBS, side by side. But in order for you to do that, you're going to have to go and have this software. Now, the software is not ex exactly cheap. You know, it's about... 60 to 100 bucks for you to uh, have this software, unless you can find it somewhere else for cheaper. You're going to need this software. There is a free trial. You can try three different, uh, you know, processing on three different movies on your Blu-ray disc. But overall, you're going to need to uh, have this software, DVD Fab, in order for you to utilize that side by side. 3D Blu-ray, MKV file. As you can see right here, you can choose between ripping your, uh, you can burn your um, movies on a, on your burner, on your uh, Blu-ray burner. You can copy, you can convert, you can create. Uh, there's many different things you can do. Okay. Here, let me show you really quick. For example, right here, uh, you can go to a converter. And you can click here, you can add what you want to convert. You got a ripper, you can rip the DVDs, which I are, you know, I'm not doing because I don't have an empty, you know, uh, blank Blu-ray to do that. And then here is your task view. Uh, it let you know how much you have left to process. This is, uh, this is pretty hefty, dude. Uh, it takes a lot of space for this to be processed, you know. It takes a lot of hard drive space, but you can compress it with the uh, MP uh, with the MP with the MKV file. You can compress it because you're going to be splitting it to side by side. But you're going to need DVD Fab in order for you to do this. And this is basically what you're going to need: DVD Fab. You go to their website, and uh, as you can see, you can. You can rip the Blu-ray movies uh, to 2D, 3D. Uh, you can put them into H.265, H which is pretty amazing. H.265 can go up to 8K. So you can pretty much compress this to 8K. The problem is it's a bit expensive. You know, th this thing, it's not cheap. It's a bit expensive. But uh, there is a free trial. And you're going to need this in order for you to... Uh, utilize a 
3D effect on your uh, virtual reality. Because the virtual reality headsets, the PC virtual reality headsets, they can only utilize side by side. That's the only way that you're going to be able to see 3D effect if it's, uh, you know, converted to side by side. So it's a bit of a hassle to do this on a PC. But I think the one benefit is if you put it all on your hard drive, you don't have to go swiping through the different disks left and right, left and right. Everything's on your hard drive. You can put it on your server. So there's some benefit to this. You know, I'm just here to let you know what you're going to have to do and what options you have in order for you to watch it. It is a bit of a hassle to do it on a PC. Uh, you're going to have to jump through some hoops and whatnot, but uh, if you if you are determined to do it, I guess you're going to do it. You're going to have 3D movies on your hard drive. I would suggest get yourself like a 8 terabytes, 24 terabyte hard drive and put all those 3D Blu-ray movies on there. And you don't have to look for the disc and then you're good to go. But you're going to need this software. You're going to need DVD Fab. You're going to need this if you want to be able to... Uh, to watch and convert your existing 3D Blu-ray movies, such as the Avatar, which I, which I have over here, you're gonna have to uh, do that. Okay, that's the only way. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope this clarifies some of the confusion that I was there. Okay, thank you for watching.